Visit ccgcastle.com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Send us your bulk in exchange for Evolution Booster Box. Visit CCG Castle or check video description to learn more. Hello Poké fans, welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video I will be taking a look at one of my decks from the collection that I have. So this is my Dark Alakazam, a Dark Wildbloom deck that I used to play with it um, with my friend in a base set up to Team Rocket set. So we used to play um, a lot of different formats and uh, sometimes we actually uh, have some restrictions for the decks. For example, uh, when we play with the base set decks, um, restriction is pretty much uh, on those uh, super energy removals and energy removals. So you can't have more than one per deck of each of these cards because it's just completely uh, broken to have four super energy removals, four energy removals. I don't know, it's, it's not that funny. So let's take a look at this deck. So I have um, two different attackers, uh, Mewtwo and, um, and even Mr. Mime is a backup attack but he is just here to block damage and of course Dark Alakazam as a main attacker. So let's take a look at uh, some cards in this deck. So I'm running three copies of a Abra. So this is a Abra from the Team Rocket with the Vanish and with the Psy Shock. So 40 HP Psychic Pokemon, weakness of course on the Psychics, one on Treat Coast. Um, two pretty good uh, attacks. Vanish uh, where you can shuffle Abra back into your deck. So if you have 30 damage counters, you can shuffle it back, which is pretty decent. And Psy Shock for 10. And if you get heads on the coin flip, you can paralyze your opponent Pokemon, which is just very, very strong in my opinion, especially in the base set where the damage output is not that huge. So I'm running three copies of this Abra in this deck. So three copies of a Abra. Then I have two copies of a Dark Alakazam, a Dark Adabra. So Dark Adabra is a 50 HP Pokemon with a matter exchange. Once during the turn, um, you might discard a card from your hand in order to draw a card, which is very, very powerful. Um, especially when we have Dark uh, Wild Plume in play and we can't play um, trainer cards, we can just discard trainer card in extra in exchange to draw one extra card, which is just pretty strong. Mind Shock for only two Psychic Energies, we can strike for 30 and Weakness and Resistance will not be applied. Of course, Weakness on the Psychics and the Retreat cost. Only 50 HP, stage one. So you can imagine um, how these decks uh, was uh, on low HP back when the base set uh, was actual actually um, in uh, standard format. So uh, main attacker, as I mentioned, Dark Alakazam, 60 HP, stage two, 60 HP, guys. Today, basic Pokemons actually have 60 HP. So Teleport Blast, uh, for two Psych and one Colors Energy, you might switch the uh, Dark Alakazam with one of your banished Pokemon, which is pretty good because we can actually switch it with the Mr. Mime in case our opponent having active position Blastoise with the Ray Dance, so he's not going to be able to strike for more than like a couple damage counters, maybe 10 to Mr. Mime, where you can just uh, one hit knock at him maybe with our Mr. Mime, which is not impossible. And of course, Mind Shock for 40, and again, Weakness and Resistance are not um, effective for a Mind Shock. 3 Retreat cost. So Abra has 1 Retreat cost, Kadabra 2 and Alakazam 3. So running 3 copies of Dark Alakazam inside. So this is pretty much main attacker as I mentioned it. Then I'm moving on to the backup attacker which is a Mr. Mime with that invisible wall which says whenever an attack does 30 or more damage to Mr. Mime prevent that effect uh, and damage. Prevent that damage. So it's just amazing. So let's say your opponent does 30 damage, it's going to do zero damage to Mr. Mime. Uh, meditate 10 plus 10 more for each damage counter on defending Pokemon. I really like it. Only one treat cost. Unfortunately, only just 40 HP. So one Mr. Mime and two copies of Mewtwo promo, Black Star promo with energy absorption and the Psy Burn. So Psy Burn, three energy for 40. Uh, okay, it's, it's, it's expensive. It's very expensive attack, but at least energy absorption uh, can um, pick two energies from Disco Pot and put on the Mewtwo. So turn two, uh, Mewtwo can be ready to um, have three energies and turn two, it's ready to go for the Psy Burn. So it's it's a decent, definitely. Then I'm, mo I'm running two copies of Dratini. Why Dratini? Dratini is here just pretty much uh, for a Dark Dragonire. And why is that important? It's definitely important because of the 
ev um, that evolutionary light. So Dark Dragonite actually has the pocket power which says that one during my turn I can search my deck for any evolution card show to my opponent put into my hand, which is very important. And I really like that effect because I'm running two copies of them by the way. And I really like that effect because I can pretty much easily search my Dark Debras, um, Dark uh, Gloms, uh, Dark Alakazams or whatever Pokemon that I need in that uh, situation. I'm uh, running two copies of Arish and uh, two copies of Dark Glum. So Glum actually have a ability which says once during a turn you might flip a coin, if has, defending Pokemon is now confused. If Tails, your active Pokemon is confused. So you have plenty of different options um, doing damage. Um, affecting your opponent, active Pokemon with, uh, with uh, special conditions and stuff like that with this deck. And of course, two copies of Dark Wileplume. So, Dark Wileplume says that no trainer cards can be played. This power stops working while Dark Wileplume is asleep, confused, or paralyzed. So, that means that your opponent is not going to be able to play Computer Search, Professor Zoke, anything. Switch, uh, Gust of Wind, Energy Removal, Super Energy Removal, uh, Item Finder, nothing. You're just unaffected and you can just control game later pretty much easily. So a lot of Pokemon cards as you can see right here, a lot of different Pokemon cards. Um, probably some of you should say, well, this, there's no way this deck can work, but trust me, once you can uh, set up turn two, your Dark Dragonite in play, uh, with computer searches and the uh, Professor Zoke, since there's no supporter cards, you can just easily grab your Alakazams, power them up, of course, and later just use Teleport Blast, strike for 30 and exchange Alakazam with another Pokemon on your bench and uh, try to win the matchup. So from the trainer cards, I'm running four copies of Professor Zilk. Pretty much discard your hand, then draw a seven cards. A very, very, very powerful card. Professor Zilk, one of the best cards ever printed in a Pokemon trading card game because you can just discard a hand and draw seven cards. Of course, four copies of Bill, which says draw two cards. Pretty much discard a hand, draw two cards. Really like the effect. It's just simple, just like that. Then in addition to that, I'm running four copies of the boss way. So pretty much with the boss way, I can search my deck for a evolution card with dark in its name, show to my opponent, put into my hand. Why is that very important to run four of these if I will just item lock or just trainer lock my, me and my opponent? That's just because if I can set up onto my bench, let's say two Abras, Dratini, uh, Arish, I can just play multiple bosses way and uh, just evolve those Pokemon. So I can be ready uh, for maybe turn three to have a um, couple, uh, let's say two Dark Alakazams, one Dark Dragonire, one Dark Wileplume, and uh, maybe Mr. Mime and Mewtwo in play. So that's the reason why I really like a four a boss way uh, for this build. It's a very good card. It's a very good card and it's a from the Team Rocket, of course. Then I'm running couple computer searches and uh, I decide to go just with three computer search because I don't need more than three trust me once I manage to uh, set up my wild plume I'm done with playing trainer cards so I'm um, three computer search pretty much this card two cards uh, from your hand uh, in order to search your deck for one card and put it into your hand without showing that card to your opponent I guess one also of the best cards ever printed in Pokemon TCG, then two copies of Item Finder. So discard two cards uh, from your hand, but uh, you can discard, of course, uh, yeah, pretty much you, you can discard another uh, Item Finder. Um, and then you can pick um, a trainer card from your discard pile into your hand. I really like that. I really like that because um, you can pick any trainer card you want from your discard pile. For example, you can pick uh, Professor Zoke, you can pick uh, pretty much any trainer card, which is just amazing. And I really like the uh, item finder. Uh, two Pokemon Breeder, definitely. Uh, put the stage two evolution card from your hand on the matching basic Pokemon. Uh, you can only play this card when you will be allowed to evolve that Pokemon anyway, which means that you can play Breeder third one. Which means, in translation, if we want to trainer lock our opponent, we can even do that on turn two because we can just put Adish on the bench turn one. We can easily find the computer search and turn to, we can just um, breather into the dark wild plume. And for example, with the boss way, we can easily pick that wild plume. And with the breather, we can just easily evolve. So that's the catch. That's the whole point of this deck. And of course, two copies of Pokemon Trader. 
which is a very nice card because it allows me to trade one of my basic Pokemon or Revolution cards from my hand with other from my deck. So with the trader, I can just easily trade, for example, Abra for Adish or Jotini for Adish or Mr. Mime for um, Dark Adabra. So I really like the Pokemon trader, but don't need to have more than two. Then I'm running uh, one copy of Switch just in case I need it because I don't need more than one because I have two item finders and I can easily pick another one. And one copy of Gust of Wind, of course, so I can choose one of my opponent Pokemon uh, from the bench and switch with the active Pokemon. Don't need more than one because I'm restricted with that um, Dark Wild Plume in play. And of course, one energy removal, which says that I can remove one energy attached to my opponent Pokemon in play. One super energy removal, which says that I can discard one energy from my Pokemon in order to discard two energies from my opponent Pokemon in play. So I really like that. And of course, 14 Psychic Basic Energies. So 14 Psychic Basic Energies will mean that this is pretty much it. Yes, you need to have a tons of energies when you play that uh, base set format because all of your Pokemons require just a lot of a lot of energy cards to be able to even attack, which is just ridiculous, because, um, for example, one Dark Alakazam with 60 HP needs 3 energy, and uh, what happens when that Dark Alakazam gets knocked out? You're losing 3 energy cards, and let's say you run only 10 energies, two of them are prized, you're stuck with just 5 energies in your deck, which is just ridiculous, especially if you attach the energy, already um, 2 energies in your Mr. Mime and maybe 1 in your Mewtwo, you're not going to be able to even attack. Um, with your Pokemons. Of course, with Mewtwo you're gonna be because you can use energy absorption, but then you're just losing one turn, which is just ridiculous. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like it or dislike if you didn't like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this deck or if you have uh, any of these old school decks. I would just love to see your opinion. So uh, stay tuned for the more videos. If you have any questions as usual, don't forget to leave comments below. So till the next time, have a nice day and uh, goodbye.